Time for the big one next, and it's the Hennessy Gold Cup. It's a three mile, two final grade three handicap. Uh, that was a cracking race. This one at the top. The teacher for Joshua Sutherland, Agent Decoy, Padre Hogan, Galway Dancing, David Robertson, Devil's Harmony, Darren Thompson, Vintage Cherub, and the Galaxy for Craig Beckwith. Look sharp. Martin Leedham, Silent Voices, Graham Clutterbuck has also got Tower Amlet, Good Queen, David Hooley, Kaleidoscopic River, Martin Leedham, One Trap Mind, Leon Van Rensburg, Jewel Flower, Leon Van Rensburg, Royal Wedding, Matt Cooper, and Cord, Jonathan, Alex Cherry, 15 runners in this, which is a part of Dell's Double, and away we go. Head towards the first in not exactly... Perfect conditions, gloomy skies and falling rain as they get to the first. And there's a faller at the very first fence. And it's Tower Hamlet's gone for Graham Clutterbuck. So Tower Hamlet's crashes out at the first. And we're down to 14. Head towards the second of the 20. And the loose horse will lead the merit. And this time there's one or two down on their nose. Most notably Kaleidoscopic River who's now dropped right to the back. But nothing seems all that keen to take the race by this scruff of the neck. And... Make the run. It looks like it's going to be Look Sharp who's going to be the leader over the third. And all safely over the third again. One or two nods on landing, but it's Look Sharp and the teacher who are disputing the lead. Neither of them seem that keen to go on. You can tell that by the fact that the loose horse is six lengths clear as they take fence number four, which they all stream over nicely. At the centre of the track, called Jonathan is making a forward move. So to his silent voices, but it Look Sharp is just about in front, I think, as they make their way towards this turn and they race away towards the cross fence but it's locked it's look sharp who's just about got the lead as they take this turn probably come out of it a couple of lengths clear of core jonathan in second and the teacher is third silent voices is fourth and spread quite widely across the track kaleidoscopic river is virtually in the car park well they're looking for better room but they take the cross fence and uh, move away towards the home turn and look sharp is clearing the lead from Cord Jonathan who's one of the four who's looking for better ground up the centre of the track. The others are silent voices and the Leon Van Rensburg second horse Jewel Flower and Kaleidoscopic River who's probably just about the back mark of those four are considerably wider on the track than the others as they come down to fence number six where look sharp led and Cord Jonathan was in second, right over on the far side, the teacher is in third, that one's been trapped by one track mind, and then Vintage Cherub is also close up, so to his agent decoys, they take this ditch, and all safely over the ditch, with Kaleidoscopic River continuing to be the back marker, and these four still insisted on running that little bit wider than everybody else, we switch to the other angle then, it's not quite so easy to tell how far wide they are, but you can see they're still considerably wider than the rest of them as they take the eighth, and look sharp. And he's the leader at this stage, coming into fence number nine. We'll get over number nine, okay. And look sharp in front, called Jonathan, just about showing second, but really wide on the track as they head down past the stands. And we wonder whether they're going to be taking the water jump as a last fence in a circuit's time or not. It looks as though they possibly will be. They get over the water. And now it's all changes. Look sharp, just eases back a little bit. And the Craig Beck with Vintage Cherub has come through to take it up. Called Jonathan over on the far side. The rod jockey looks like he's riding a finish on that one. But I'm sure he isn't. And they're now tacking across. And it looks like they're all going to come across now to this near side. So quite what all that was about. Goodness only knows. And um, those four that stayed wide didn't appear to do them a lot of good because Vintage Cherub. Um, sorry, called Jonathan is having to be scrubbed along to maintain his position in fifth, and the others have dropped right out the back. And they get over the 11th, and all safely over the 11th. Uh, Look sharp has got back into the lead. We're on vintage cherub and jewel flower, and the teacher called Jonathan still being hard ridden on the outside. Good Queen is getting a little bit closer, so to his agent decoy as they take this ditch. And you can see the trailers. Oh, the Scopic River, a good four lengths adrift of the rest of them. Good winner last week, but appears not to be on a going day so far today. And it's Look Sharp, his stable companion that leads into this plain one. Stood off it, but got over it okay. The rest of them all over it nicely as well. Jewel Flower in second. Called Jonathan is going wide again, so I really don't know what's going on there. I think that's been happening to one or two Alex Cherry horses. I don't know if he's turning his jockeys to go wide, but over the next. And Jewel Flower has jumped through into the lead now. Leon Van Rensburg's two moved up into the first three. 
look sharp in a second as we get this great close-up view that you used to get on the BBC years ago if you're old enough to remember it. They're all safely over the next with Jewel Flower and One Truck Nine from Look Sharp in Second. Silent Voices is third, then Vintage Cherub, then the teacher, and really wide on the track again called Jonathan. I really can't see that one playing a part in the finish. The amount of ground it's given up is tucking back it tucking back in again now. Um Strange behaviour there, but anyway, it's one track mine and jewel flower from Look Sharp as we get another worm's eye view of them as they come in towards the next fence. The vintage cherub is close up, silent voices is making grand kaleidoscopic river has made exceptionally good progress through the field during the last few fences and is now right in the middle of a pack. But it's jewel flower who's got the lead. And they're down towards the business end of the race now. And it's Jewel Flower and One Track Mind in the lead. They've only got about four more to jump. Going around the outside, Galaxy is swept through now with a strong looking challenge. Kaleidoscopic River's come through from last to now, challenge for the lead. And it's coming through to challenge Galaxy. So it's Galaxy and Kaleidoscopic River over the fourth line. Kaleidoscopic River landed in the lead from Galaxy in second. Jewel Flower is third. Then comes Devil's Harmony, One Track Mind. Silent Voices look sharp, trying to run back on again. This is the final ditch, the third from home. And Kaleidoscopic River skips over it and gets too clear. Of Galaxy in second, Jewel Flower is back in third. Kaleidoscopic River now racing towards the second last fence with a lead of two to three lengths from Galaxy in second. Towards this second last thing, he stood off it but got over it okay. But Galaxy is beginning to close. So to his Jewel Flower, Silent Voices is running on. So is One Trap Mind. They're coming down towards the final fence and it's Jewel Flower who takes it up on the inside. Jewel Flower takes it up into the final fence and over it okay. And it's got to be a one two for Leon. I think it's Jewel Flower and One Trap Mind from Kaleidoscopic River back in third and it's going to be Jewel Flower that takes it one track mine in second Kaleidoscopic River is in third then comes Silent Voices in Galaxy fourth and fifth but it's close up to the line Jewel Flower one track mine and it's one track mine is going to get up to take it Jewel Flower second Kaleidoscopic River third then Galaxy Silent Voices Vintage Jero after that one and Leon van Rensburg somehow gets two in the Hennessy at number 12 and 13 right down in the weights and doesn't he take advantage of it with a 1-2 he's not had the best of seasons so far even though he's second in the table he's not had the winners he's normally had and that's probably why he's got them in off such low weights bottom weight in fact out of the handicap two Leon van Rinsburg horses out of the handicap first and second in the Hennessy so one track minor winner for Leon van Rinsburg second was Jewel Flower for the same trainer, third Kaleidoscopic River for Martin Lennon, fourth Silent Voices for Graham Clutterbuck and fifth was Galaxy for Craig Beckwith.